Okay, so now that we know how to declare content in Kiwi app, we can go up to more complicated stuff. So let's declare a root widget that is a box layout. Now, layouts are widgets that can contain other widgets. Uh, it's a box layout, grid layout, float layout. Uh, if you want to know more about other layouts, you can check them out in the Kiwi documentation. So let's say that this layout has a button, a slider, a label, and an image. And the box layout will arrange those widgets in a certain way. By default, it, arrange, it arranges them horizontally. Okay, so now we can customize these widgets so, it, so they have something, right? So the image, we can say that it has a source. It corresponds to the name of the image that we want to load. So for example, I would like to load this one that has says kiwi.png. And I will say kiwi.png and it's that easy to make the image show the image that I said right there. So we, we can now see that it has the logo, right? Okay, so for example, both the source and the orientation of the box layout are, are a Kiwi property and we can change them by referencing to them with a certain event. So all buttons and other widgets may have events. Uh, buttons have the following events that is on, press, that we can say what happens when we press the widget and on release what happens when we release the widget. So for example, um, we're going to use one of the one of the Kiwi keywords right here. So we can reference the root widget, that would be the first widget on the screen, it's the box layout, and we can change the orientation really easily. So we can say uh, on press root.orientation equals vertical, so that we now have a vertical widget. And we can see how that works. Now it has everything vertical. And then we can also change some property in itself. So for example, uh, button it has a property called text that says what's written on the on the button, right? So we can say that I change stuff. And that when we click it, when we release it, we can do self.text equals I have changed stuff. And we can also change the image, the source of the image that is right here. So for example, how would how would I reference this image right here? It's really easy. I just give it a certain ID and I say that it's called image. And then I can say on press or on release. I like to use on release better. Image dot source equals kiwi dot jpeg, which that is another image in the folder. So I can save that, and I can see how the text of the bottom will change, the orientation of the widget will change, and the source that the image is displaying will change. So when I click it, it happens. If something happens, and when I release it, something else happens. I have changed stuff, it says right here. So this is why I really love Kiwi, it's really easy to reference and change other properties and other widgets.